Facebook is delayed. Ah. Praise you, Lord. Good morning, my dear friends, and forgive me for staring at the screen and ignoring you. <clears throat> We've had a few problems with Facebook. One minute they tell you you can only use Firefox, but this morning I struggled to go live. So now I'm using Google and it's let me through. So we praise the Lord. <clears throat> And good morning, dear Sister Jan, and good morning, dear Sister Sandra, at this unearthly hour in Texas. Bless you, Sandy, and I pray you're feeling well, considering, and I hope you're pain-free. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank the Lord for Manuka, honey. We begin this morning and welcome Sister Barbara. We begin our prayers this morning by dedicating this light for two intentions. One for Sister Betty in California, who hopes to join the community on the Feast of St. Francis as a postulant and who's a nurse. And we remember Brother Jan in Sweden who's having some hospital tests today. But I would also want to remember our dear sister Sandra and all my brothers and sisters in the community and all our friends gathered here. Amen. <clears throat> so let us now play those beautiful bells. to our friends on Facebook. <coughs> Excuse me. It's saying, sorry, we can't. We're having trouble playing this video. I hope you can see me okay. Good morning, Nini, and good morning, Sister Pam. I hope that you can see us okay on Facebook. And if not, why not come over to YouTube? where we're running live at the same time. YouTube link above. Thank you, dear Jan. Bless you. Now, we begin our prayer this morning with an opening prayer from the little book called A Celtic Liturgy. <clears throat> May the angels of heaven protect me this day and circle me with the fragrance of peace. May Christ, my Lord and loving friend, protect me this day and circle me with affection and love. May the spirit of truth 
who dwells in my heart. Protect me this day and circle me and fill me with joy. Amen. So be it. And our hymn from Hymns for Living. Hymn number 155, Be True, Live Truly, by Ralph Vaughan Williams, born in 1872. You must be true unto yourself. If truth to others you would teach, your soul must overflow with love. If you another soul would reach, think wisely, truly, and your thoughts this hungry world shall help to feed. Speak truly, and your every word shall yet become a fruitful seed. Let lips be full of gentle speech, your heart respond to human need. Live truly, and your life shall be a glorious and a noble creed. Amen. That lovely. Praise the Lord. Now, our first reflection this morning <clears throat> is from the book In God's Presence. And for June the 3rd, this life was chosen for you. Now, that's an interesting reflection. This life was already chosen for you by God. And it's underpinned by 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 17 to 18. God chose this life for you. The attacks that you are experiencing are an indication that you're doing something right. The enemy would not be attacking you if you were not doing the will of God. It may seem like God is nowhere to be found, but the teacher is always the quietest during the test. Can you rely on God during the struggle? Your breakthrough is right around the corner. God not only chose you for this journey and for this life, but he also anointed the outcome and has aligned it with his will for your life. If you knew the end at the beginning, you wouldn't appreciate the process. God knows the end at the beginning, and as you rely on him and seek him daily, he will help you endure through the journey with peace and joy. Wow. That's a very reassuring reflection for a new day. Our life is already mapped out for us, so that should really allay our fears and our anxieties. So let us be still. Let us come into the presence of God. Let us give thanks for all that we've received. Let us bless the struggles, the hardship, the heartache, and all that weighs us down. Be still and know that our God is with us. And if you do, come under attack, or you feel overstretched, remember those words. Your life has already been mapped out for you, so trust in the Lord God. And again, apologies for Facebook. For some reason, it stopped recording. And I do apologize. Technology at its best. Now, coming to the other reflection from Henry J.M. Louvain, You Are the Beloved, 
they're heading joys and sorrows kiss joys and sorrows kiss when we speak about celebration we tend rather easily to bring to mind happy pleasant gay festivities in which we can forget for a while the hardships of life and immerse ourselves in an atmosphere of music, dance, drinks, laughter, and a lot of cozy small talk, excuse me. <clears throat> but celebration in the Christian sense has very little to do with this. Celebration is only possible through the deep realization that life and death are never found completely separate. Celebration can only really come about where fear and love, joy and sorrow, tears and smiles can exist together. Celebration is the acceptance of life in, an, in a constantly increasing awareness of its preciousness. And life is precious, not only because it can be seen, touched and tasted, but also because it will be gone one day. When we celebrate a wedding, we celebrate a union as well as a departure. When we celebrate death, we celebrate lost friendship as well as gained liberty. There can be tears after weddings and smiles after funerals. We can indeed make our sorrows just as much as our joys a part of our celebration of life in the deep reality that life and death are not opponents but do in fact kiss each other at every moment of our existence. So there's one that really touches the heart. So let us be still. And finally, from Rumi's Daybook. From the moon to the fish, there is nothing in creation that doesn't have a throat to draw sustenance from God. When the spirit's throat is empty of concern for the body, its portion is worthy of a sovereign. To receive this royal sustenance, you must change, because negative people die due to their negativity. When a human being gets used to eating dirt, he pales, becomes sickly and miserable. But when his foul character has been transformed, ugliness vanishes from his face and he radiates like a candle. So there. Uh, but finally, from the little book of wisdom, from His Holiness the Dalai the section on learn from your enemy. It is the enemy who can try and teach us to practice the virtues of compassion and tolerance. You can learn about the importance of being patient. However, the actual practice of implementing patience comes when meeting with an enemy. Now, There we go. So now I want to play for you the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. But this is by Carl Jenkins. Here we go.
Let us bless our Saviour, who by his rising to new life has freed the world from fear. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, we offer you our prayer this morning. Take to yourself our cares, our hopes, and our needs. Christ, our loving Lord, in your kindness, be with the sick and the poor, the weak and the dying, bring them your comfort. Lord Jesus, we pray that through our troubles we may learn to feel the sufferings of others. Help us to show them your love and compassion. In the silence of our hearts, we commend our day to God. Let us be still. Ma Let us just be still now and relax. And in the silence, 
Allow your God touch you now. every part of you now. And let not your heart be troubled, but trust in the beloved, the God who loves you, who creates you. I remember each one of you this morning. I also remember Brother Jan and Sister Betty and our dear sister Sandy. <clears throat> but I also remember the many asking for prayer. We pray for the situation in America. We pray for good leadership there to prevent civil riots from spreading to more. We pray for the situation in Brazil with COVID. We pray for the children of God of all faiths who are struggling in mind, body, and spirit. Today we remember all those who are hurting and who are struggling. Let us relax now and just be aware that our God is present and that you are loved. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessing. Praise you, Lord. Praise and thank you. Almighty and ever living God, strengthen our faith, our hope, and our love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us and come to share the life you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and bring you peace. Amen. Let us thank the Lord.
to dedicate this song to you, to thank you for being here. And I pray that it will speak to your heart. That was by the Maranatha singers, and what a lovely, beautiful song. Well, let us finish our morning prayer with the Shema. Hear, O Israel. Shema Israel.
Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And now I come to blow out this light, and I thank the Lord God for touching your heart through the words and the music and the period of silence. So go from here and share the love you've received in your smile. Amen. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace, the love, the joy of the risen Christ set you free and allow you know that you are loved, that you are a beloved of God. Thank you for letting me pray with you, and I do pray you have a good day. And my commiserations to those disappointed with Facebook, where it stopped running. But in every situation, we give thanks, and we bless Facebook. And you take care, dear Sister Jan, and have a beautiful day. Sing